Well, what's going on Dragon Brawlers, Scott Simon, your Guildmaster here for Players Guild, and today we're talking about the demo decks from Gen Con for Dragon Ball Super card game, Fusion World. So, quick disclaimer, everything you see here is subject to change, shout out to Eggman Events for hosting all of the cards on his website, uh, so we can just have a quick look at them, see what's kind of cool, what's happening, and you can get a feel for the decks. So, let's get straight into it with Sun Goku. And right off the rip, uh, we have a nice, clear understanding of when this card does X, you get the X, uh, Y effect. So, when attacking, draw a card. Really simple, really clever, and really clear. Uh, awaken, when you're at four or, four or less life, um, draw a card, then flip over. And then you flip over into the Awakened side, which is now 20k base instead of 15k base. They've upped it by 5k both sides, which I think is very interesting. Uh, when attacking, draw a card. Same thing, pretty simple. Uh, activate battle. Once per turn, choose up to one of your red battle cards, and it gets 5k power for the battle. Pretty nice. Um, can push those 15ks into 20ks without sacrificing cards to combo, which I think is really cool. Um, and yeah, last things to note are in the bottom left, we can see that there is red, blue, green, yellow, and black, I'm assuming, color pie wheel, uh, with this being obviously red. And of course, we have tags still in the form of Saiyan and Universe 7. Whether these cards and tags remain the same, who knows, but I'm pretty sure Saiyan and Universe 7 is a tag that we'll see going forward. And now for the battle card in the deck, we have Tien Shinhan. He is an Earthling U7. Uh, he is a vanilla 1-drop 15k. Very nice. Just can swing at the Unawakened Leader for 1 energy. Pretty cool. Uh, important to note, these are 10k combos here, which is... Uh, you know what? That can change the battle. That, like, that is actually quite interesting. Um, we have a Whis here, which is only a 5k for 1 energy. He is an Angel. And he is a Universe 7. Uh, Angel, I believe, is a new tag, uh, which is very interesting. Um, and an on play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. It gets minus 5k power for the turn. So, could be potentially good at removing other 5k's. Or it could be a problematic blocker that you can bring down. Uh, really good utility card. It's a one drop. I, I like it. I like Whis quite a bit. Uh, then we get Master Roshi, which is your can drip on play draw card. Uh, you put a body on the board for 5k. He's only a 5k combo. You know, I, we'll see. We'll see. With these cards now having 10k combo power, it can be a surprise hit to get there. But if not, it's a play one, draw one, and then you have a 5k combo on board if you need it. Uh, Android 18 Vanilla. Again, this, these are demo decks, so the cards aren't going to be super complex. Uh, she is a 2-drop 20k Vanilla, which is a nice 2-drop to hit the Awakened side. You know what? That's fine with me and my book. Uh, then we have Vegeta. Uh, she's also got the Android tag, which is a tag that we haven't seen yet. Um, Vegeta, 2-drop 15k critical. Uh, so critical is when you deal damage, the card goes to your drop instead of your um, hand, which normal damage would take. I, I explain that really weirdly, but uh, when you take damage in this game, you get the life to hand, uh, unless it has critical which then it goes to the drop area, which is like a graveyard for other games. Um, it's interesting to know that some of these have R1 and R2 on them. That is... That is oh, and there's an R3 as well. Oh, oh, uh, interesting. Interesting. wonder what that's about. Um, so then we go to Krillin. Ah, we're good, we love a good Krillin. Uh, so permanent... Your turn. This card gets 5k power, so he is a 2-drop 20k in essence, but he also has on play add a card from your life to your hand. This is super vital, um, especially if you go back to early game Dragon Ball Super card game, where if you were the first one to awaken, you could control the match. Um, so the cards like this are going to be very valuable. Uh, basically, you play him, he's good. It's, it's going to be pretty difficult to remove. He's 20k on yours, so you can trade on those vanillas if you want. Um, I, I like him a lot and it's also optional so you don't have to take the life if you don't want to uh, next up we have the Android 17 I think this is my favourite, second favourite card in deck because my next card is my favourite but we'll talk about Android 17 right now and he is a free drop 
uh, two red. So if you are playing multicolor, if multicolor is a thing, you can pay two red energy and one whatever energy uh, to play him. Uh, he is 20k, but in your opponent's 10, he is 25k. That That's going to make it hard to swing into um, without commitment from what we've seen. Uh, and then on play, he has the same as Krillin. You can take a life and add it to your hand. So two really cool cards back to back. You can see a kind of little nice little curve there if you want. Uh, then we get onto Beerus, which has God of Destruction, which is definitely a new tag. Um, he is a free drop with free specified red. So very much you have to play him in red right now. Uh, 20k. And he has critical, which is nice. And he also has, when attacking, choose up to one of your other red battle cards. It gets 5k. So you can pump those for, uh, characters even further. Bear in mind, you have your leader, which allows you to get 5k. So this Beerus could easily sing at 25k. You can pump your Vegeta to 25k if you want. You know, there's, there's now you're hitting big numbers with those criticals. At least for these demo decks. Uh, then we have a nice vanilla Piccolo, which is a free drop 25k. So it's interesting that the curve goes uh, one drop vanilla is 15, two drop vanilla is 20, three drop is 25 interesting interesting um also worth noting he is a namekian god both familiar traits with the masters version of the game but it's nice to see that god is still going to be um its own trait whereas god of destruction seems to be have been separated from god which that i actually like that change i think that's interesting um now we have freezer clan which so this is a four cost vanilla i believe uh, and that is a 30k. So the incremental value of vanilla seems to get less and less. Uh, I believe they're all 10k combos on the vanillas. Yes, it looks like it. Um, but I mean, 4 drop 30k, if you're pushing for game, that's they're going to have to combo more than 10k into that defense, which, you know, if you use your leader a bit, 35, you know, it could be a big boy. It could be a big boy that finishes games. Um... Then we have another four drop, which is uh, Gohan Adolescence. Uh, so we are seeing the versions come back. So um, I, if we, if we get the Broly BR movie, we'll have Sun. Uh, we won't have Sun Gohan. We'll have Broly Cole on BR. Um, so that's nice confirmation there that we will in fact have the separation of superhero Broly and then GT and stuff like that. Um, so a four drop, four specified red, uh, 25k power, critical, already explained critical. When attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. It gets minus 10k power for the turn. Uh, these are negs for the turn, which I really like. Um, so you, you could pair this with the Whis. Um, You know, you're minusing 15k there. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, also, just a 25k crit. Going to be very difficult to avoid. Uh, then we have uh, the boss monster, quote-unquote, for the deck. It's a 5-drop, 4-specified red, 35k, highest battle power we've seen so far. Zero combo power, though. Interesting there. Uh, double strike. I think this is our first double strike card. On play, if your leader is red, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it gets minus 20k. So, very much a big, I'm dropping this, I'm probably killing something just on my on-play auto, and I can also swing for 2 damage instead of 1 and I'm 35k without combos. I really like this card. Um, it's pretty cool. And then we get to Shin. Which is the Supreme Kai. Uh, and that is also a tag now as well. Which is awesome to see. Love the Supreme Kais. Um, so 5 cost. 4 specified red. 30k. And here's our super combos. So super combos are restricted to 4 in a deck. Um, in Masters, they're very useful. You'll always have four in your deck. Uh, same is going to happen here with Fusion Weld, I am sure. But they have tweaked it slightly. So, 10k is kind of the base for all of these, like, um, all of these cards. Some of the more powerful cards have 5k. And in Goku's case, it's zero combo power. Uh, but this is 10k. But if you use it in your opponent's turn, and your leader is red, when you use it from hand, so it can't be from field, it's an additional 10k, which is absolutely huge and um, can save you from an attacks. Can't be used offensively.
use it for the 10k offensively, but you can't get 20k offensively. Also important to note, these cards don't draw anymore. Super combos in the past have let you draw cards, or two cards in some cases in, ma in Masters. Apologies for that, everybody. Um, but yeah, so it's it's fun. And also, if when in doubt, five drop. If you've got nothing else to do, play it for 30k, it can swing. Um, I, I actually like these changes to super combos. I think this is a much better change for super combos. And we do have some extra cards to wrap this up. We have Kamehameha, uh, which actually has the tag of saying. I don't know if this is meant to be there. I Again, card design not final. Text is not final. Layout is not final. I actually do like the look of these extra cards. It's very clear that these are extra cards, um, which from an accessibility standpoint, I really like. Um, activate battle. So it's one red energy. Uh, choose up to one of your red leaders or up to one of your red battle cards and it gets 15k power for the battle. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and get minus 5k for the turn. So this can be used in either your battle or your opponent's turn. So I I like this. It can help you push a combo through. Um, you can only minus your opponent's battle cards. So if you're going to swing onto leader, you're just going to get 15k and minus 5k. But like I said, like... 5Ks in this game, there are plenty, especially if they, you're playing cantrips, right? And removing that combo off the board is always handy. Um, defensively, this is quite great because if a battle card is swinging, it's a 20K difference, differential. Um, so yeah, I, all, in, all in all, Kamehameha, really cool one energy card. Uh, then we have God Kamehameha, which is a two, spe two, re two, two specified red. Permanent, if you have no battle cards, reduce it by one, so it becomes a one red. Activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 30k or less and KO it. Now, based on the power levels of these decks, that is awesome. A one just KO something 30k or less. That is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I still don't know what the R's are for. R4, R1, R2, R3. Um, no idea. No idea. Uh, if anyone does have any idea, leave a comment below what it could be. Um, there also seems to be a symbol above it that I can't quite work out. Maybe it's just signifying the block that they're from. But what do you make of the red demo deck, huh? Um, assuming these are the finalized text, we'll, we'll, we'll play uh, that. Uh, I like these effects. I think it very much clearly defines red as it's going to be a minusing power type archetype maybe with some focus on crit there which is really nice they have said that they wanted to flush out color identity from the off and i am all for that um i'm very excited for this beerus hopefully we will see some form of beerus in there again i want to stress that none of these cards are final but i would be very happy with some of these effects if they were to make it into the final version of Fusion World Set 1 and Starter Dex. Uh, last but not least, I want to mention that Eggman Events. Check them out. Without him, this would be a lot harder. So, big shout out to him and there. And yeah, if you are new here, please Super Saiyan smash that subscribe button. And again, uh, guys, I've been Scott Seven, your Guildmaster, and I will see you next time.